everybody, this is Chip from the Low Tide Boys. Today we're going to tell you everything you need to know about cabbing down for swim run. So what is cabbing down? Cabbing down is taking your wetsuit from wearing it all the way zipped up like this to down around your waist. Why would you want to cab down? Well, the main reason is it's the best way to cool off if you're getting too hot on any of the run legs for a swim run. Removing your wetsuit, which is thick neoprene, which doesn't let your skin sweat and shed heat. Having this down really opens up a lot more options for you to cool down. Now, what are some tips for cabbing down? First tip that we recommend, take it slow. Don't try to do this for the first time when you're running or in a race. Practice like we are here. Get all dressed up in your garage or, or at home when you're watching a TV show and go through the routine and have a plan. Step two, speaking of having a plan, understand when you need to cap down. So I personally know any run between two to three miles, I start to get really hot and I first try to unzip my wetsuit to see how that does for allowing some heat to escape. And if that's not cutting it, I know I need to cap down. So when Chris and I are making a game plan before, we'll look at the run legs and we'll see, oh, there's a run leg of maybe five miles, for example. I'll know and I'll even mention that to Chris and I'll say, hey, I'm gonna need a cab down here. So just communicating that with your partner so they know when to expect you to cab down and when you know when to expect to cab down, it's very helpful. Lube up. We've been really liking this Two Toms Lube. You use it for chafing, for preventing chafing around your neck, uh, but also uh, put it on your arms and your shoulders and your armpits as well. You can also put it on uh, bits of your suit as well and that will help the wetsuit slide on and off more easily. Now, how to cab down, the step-by-step -step process. Let's get suited up. Here we are suited up just like we came out of a swim in a race. So we even have our race bib on, we have our, our buoy engaged and we got our paddles on. So first things first, again, plan ahead. We ride our stuff on our paddles so I know, okay, this runs four miles, I'm gonna need a cab down. Hey Chris, I'm cabbing down this run, I'm gonna get started with that process. So it's, un it's good to understand and to take it at a walk or a standstill to start. And as you get more and more comfortable with it, you can go faster and quicker to where you get to the point where you could actually be potentially uh, running and doing this process. But the first things first, you gotta get all your stuff off and stored away somewhere. So. The first thing I like to do is make sure my buoy is up and out of the way. And we have plenty of videos showing you these different mount options, so don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Paddles, it's gonna be hard to take uh, this wetsuit down if you got these paddles on your hand. So I take these off and I store them in my kangaroo top. So I also have my race jersey on too, so we'll need to take this off at some point. So reach under your race jersey here. You can even uh, pull it up zip down and you see here we got the art kangaroo top makes it really easy to store everything so i put my paddles up here in the front i'm going to leave my cap and my goggles on because uh, i could put that away at a different time um, and now it's very easy so you just take your bib off you're going to temporarily store this just shove it in one of these pockets here now if you're all lubed up before like we suggested it should come off kind of easily for you here. So you want to make sure you're zipped all the way down on your wetsuit. And the first thing I like to do is try to get one shoulder free. So get one shoulder free and kind of two shoulders. And then if you can see in the back, if you're able to reach up, kind of pull down. And once you get one arm free, you're pretty much there. You could just as easily pull your other arm free. And there you go. Just like that, your cab down. Now, if the run's gonna be a while, you might wanna put your jersey back on. Uh, it's actually kinda nice, because the jersey will be wet since you just got out of the swim. And if you're feeling a little bit hot, having the jersey back on will actually be a nice cooling sensation for you, and it'll feel nice. So there you go. Now you will notice your wetsuit's gonna be inside out. So you can even, if you wanna make it easier to cab up, uh, you could flip it right side in, and there's no particular best way to have the wetsuit be tucked up or roll it or anything like that. As you can see here, I just have it naturally kind of hanging on my buoy. And uh, if you have your buoy taut enough, um, you will get a little bouncing around, uh, but not too bad. 
So there you go. Now I'm fully capped down. I'm, I know I'm gonna be able to, to cool down nice and easy. Um, I can put my swim cap away or do whatever. Now for the process of getting capped back up. Uh, again, understand how far your run is. Hey Chris, we got a quarter mile until our swim. I'm gonna start capping up. Simply reverse the process here. So, uh, bring your bib uh, back up, put it right here. I like to get one arm all the way in, pull it up on the shoulder. You know, these wetsuits are a little bit delicate, so you don't wanna be grabbing uh, too much or have really long nails. But if you get one arm in, you can kind of use it for the other arm here. And there you go. Just like that, you're ready to go. It might take a little bit of finessing to kind of get the shoulders, uh, but there you go. Put your uh, race bib back on here and you're good to go. There you go. You can then zip up accordingly once you have everything on and you're ready to go for your swim. Now, if you're really struggling, having a, a hell of a time with this, don't forget you have a partner. They can help you. Hey, Chris, can you help me get my arm out? Sometimes your arm gets stuck or finagled weird. Ask your partner. So, practice, practice, practice. This is gonna make this whole situation go a lot faster for you. And go out there and have fun, and we'll see you around.